He was one of the best OG OG four-star unit that any player can use probably when ACD was just starting. I'm not a fan, but I'm so happy that Genos is now a five-star. It's so cold. Going on, Snow Squad, it's your boy Snow, and welcome back again for another video here in All Star Tower Defense. And I'm really, really sorry, guys, that almost all of my videos for this update are kind of late. And the reason why, guys, is because uh, I need to grind for every single EXP unit so that all of them will be level 120. But I think, guys, that it's already <laughs> taking a toll, guys. I, I just can't, I just can't. So well, this time it's going to be level 120, look at that, level 120 Genos Overdrive, but I cannot really promise guys that every single showcase video that I will create will be level 120. Probably some of them will be level 80, but yeah, I hope that you guys would understand. But anyway guys, it's going to be this OPM character on my shoulder, Genos, and we will see guys if he will actually carry the OP on the OPM <laughs> here on ASDD. Anyway, let's go. If you guys remember when I was just starting as a content creator here in ASTD, I actually included Genos as one of the best 4-star units simply because first, heal units were really rare before guys. Like, the only heal units or at least the good, good heal units before were 5-star units and Genos was actually a heal unit before and at the same time, he has one SPA if I'm not mistaken and that's the reason why even though he was only a single target unit, I included him as one of the most OP at least for 4 star division but who among you are big OPM fans? Let me know in the comment section below guys so what's gonna be the difference of the overdrive version or at least the form of Genos to the normal one? I mean obviously it's gonna be more OP but is the only drive existing only because he is angry so like that or I mean Geno pretty sure Genos is not a bad guy right? <laughs> he was trying to beat uh, Saitama if I'm not mistaken but but along the way, uh, because he's always failing, he became like a student of Saitama, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, <laughs> I didn't watch the whole thing, but I've seen a lot of highlights on the internet. But anyway, guys, I'm just going to max out our Bull Mama farm. Uh, I'm not even sure if this is uh, actually expensive, but yeah, I'll be right back. For those OPM fans, I've already mentioned this on one of my previous videos, but I really think, guys, that Saitama would not be here at least anytime soon on ASTD. Probably once they have already ran out of characters to add here in ASTD which is less likely to happen pretty sure guys that they won't add Saitama the reason why is because of course all of you or everyone would actually expect that Saitama would be really OP but we will see guys about this Genos guy so Genos was a heal oh he's also gonna be a heal unit still okay kind of brings back a little bit of nostalgia all right so let me just uh, remove all of my stuff here and also um add my effects yeah so that we can see what's going on all right so the previous genos or at least uh, the previous version of genos will be firing some missiles and i think it's still gonna be the same yeah even even the animation of his body well i mean if it's gonna be like anime reference then i have no problem about that but a level 120 oh shoot oh crap why does he have a freaking orb uh but it's okay guys it's only gonna be <laughs> it's only this damage that you can see right now that is not correct okay because the fire orb only affects the placement but yeah just oh we're just gonna remove that i guess oh bro this is so bad okay so we are only talking about here additional hundreds of damage so it means that uh, it doesn't really matter i guess or it won't really matter that much once we start upgrading it but anyway guys as you guys can see a Genos level 120 with a fire orb will give us a damage of 573.63. SPA will still be the same as this trademark as a 4 star. 1. Range will be 50 which is a lot bigger I believe or maybe the same thing as the maxed out 4 star Genos. And instead of a single target unit he's gonna have the this kind of oh, very cute circle AoE. So probably 
maximum of five units or even three most of the time yeah i think that it's not really that bad on this first upgrade guys it's only gonna be a tad bit of damage 286.81 plus one range as well so let's now do it oh actually the cost of this upgrade is also not that expensive and there you go oh wait a second oh i thought the the circle aoe became bigger all right so janice now is hitting 860.45 but again guys keep in mind that i accidentally placed the fire orb to my genos but his spa will still be one so even though he's only uh, not really a single target unit but circle aoe unit still his spa is one so i'm not really gonna complain why his circle aoe is this small i mean He's gonna be a burr machine probably later unless his SPA will increase. But let's now move on to his next upgrade. 1,200 cash for one range and another 764.85 damage. And let's now do it. Okay, so he's now gonna be hitting 1,625.3, probably minus around 200. So probably without the fire orb, maybe he is at 1.3 to 1.4K damage at the moment. So still gonna be the same SPA guys and range will be 52 oh okay all right so by the way guys for those opm fans i mean i i know that on the first season i think or maybe on the first time that genos actually uh, met saitama he actually lost like genos actually got clapped and i think that he, he really just got squared up i'm pretty sure about that so Along the way in the story, guys, did Genos actually get near to Saitama's level or he just became kind of like an assistant for Saitama? Because not gonna lie though, uh, Genos looks like one of the MHA characters. Not really like his face, but kind of like his body because on MHA, I believe that there's also one dude that has the overdrive talent, you know? I think that his power is kind of like an overdrive as well. He kind of looks like a cyborg as well, but yeah, it's only about his feet instead of Genos who is, I think, full cyborg. Cyborg. But anyway, guys, on his next upgrade, 1200. There's nothing going on here. What the heck? One range and also 764.85 damage and 1200. There you go. And he's now going to be hitting 2390. So without the orb, probably it's only 2k. So 2000.15. SPA will still be one and range will now be 53. All right. So again, guys, the reason why his damage is pretty low, it seems even though we already accidentally placed like a fire orb on him it's just because of his spa guys so the damage is the cost of his spa and as you guys can see he is holding up to the wave well this is only wave number 25 i know there's nothing important about this wave but what i'm trying to say guys is we can place like a lot of him right and he doesn't cost a lot so there's actually a chance guys that he might be a very good starter unit on infinite mode or a very good starter unit or meta unit at least uh, for story mode so yeah i think that that's really something good but anyway guys on his next upgrade 2500 finally something different going on here but he will actually lose his trademark 1 SPA, but in return, he will get 5,736.37 damage. Okay, so finally, he's going to be hitting almost 5 digits, and he will also learn Auto Beam. Ooh, okay, let's see what it does. Oh, okay, so his Circle AoE became bigger or higher? <laughs> yeah, I think that the Circle AoE didn't really change. Hmm. So now he is hitting 8,126.53. But I think that without the fire orb, I think that it's only going to be like 7,800 or 7,900. SP will still be 4 though. And also his range will be 53. I'm just wondering though, why is his range not growing? I mean, we already have seen Gilgamesh being a Burr unit here on ASTD. Probably they wanted to make him a different unit, but I'm kind of disappointed that they actually removed or at least increased his 1 SPA. Would not really hurt that much, even if his uh, SPA will be 1, right? But yeah, it's not going to be 4. That's a big jump, but he didn't even get any range. Only a big jump on his damage. So, how oh well. On his next over, guys, it's going to cost us uh, 2,500. It'll only be a damage boost only. And I really think, guys, that... Yeah, there's nothing much for our Genos here. I mean, I really hate to say that, but... Yeah, there's just nothing much for him. 
he already switched and also <laughs> he already changed the animation as you guys can see his final upgrade will just be an additional damage upgrade guys and it will cost us 3000 so let's just max him out and there you go guys uh, you will have a unit that can hit 28k uh, again with fire orb guys so <laughs> maybe this is kind of like a 27k plus all right so 28,203.84 with an spa of 4 range is 53 which is relatively low compared to the you know today's standards but yeah i think that he's really a very good unit probably on story mode because of his spa 4 spa is really rare nowadays guys well except when we were talking about gilgamesh but yeah, 4 SPA is really a lot, especially that he's hitting like 5 digit numbers. I think that he would be able to be even like a very good boss killer or just an assistance for killing those air units, you know what I mean? But definitely guys, Genos will be useful because, I mean, he only costed me how much? Look at that guys, he only costed me 11,400 plus or 11,500 and it's not really that expensive nowadays. You see, if I'm going to place like a lot of them, pretty sure that we would not get pushed. I mean, it's just going to be the fact that our placement is very bad right now. But I think that if we will place like a lot of Genos, uh, probably here as a team, I think that it would be a very solid defense up until wave number 40 or so. Yeah, I think so. You know what? I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do that. I wanted to see them perform probably on high waves. I'm not going to add any of my Goku. And I'm just gonna let him probably do the wave. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm gonna do the Irwin later, guys. So let me just uh, max all of them out. There you go. Yeah, it's just gonna be the, the range, but don't worry because we have here Merlin. So if we're gonna add Merlin here and buff them using our Merlin, there you go. Um, yeah, the range improved, but not so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine if Genos actually got like literally one SPA. I think that that's a no brainer. He's a solid unit. Well, right now, he's also a solid unit, especially, uh, you know, if you're looking for a decent unit to probably carry you on story mode map, or maybe if you do not have like Paper Beauty to start a run, or maybe Goku God to start a run definitely you will be able to use genos it's just not like he's a god something like that you know he's a decent at best and you know here in asdd guys most of the time many players are thinking that if it's not a meta it's trash but uh, i beg to disagree there are many units on asdd that had not been part of the meta but it doesn't mean that they're bad it's just because they don't fit the meta itself or probably there's a unit that's more OP than him, something like that. Like what I said, guys, the value of each unit here depends on what kind of unit you are missing, at least for your roster, you know? But of course, if you are a hard grinder or probably if you are always AFKing on a time chamber, definitely, guys, so you will have like most of the unit. But if you don't, then of course you have to consider those things. But anyway, guys, let's not try to buff him up so that we will be more secured here. And there you go, maxed out. Ooh, look at that, guys. He can actually reach 84,000. Wow, 84,610.84. But then again, guys, this is actually a little bit higher since he got the fire orb on him. But what I'm trying to say here, guys, is we are looking at a unit that can hit like more than 50K per every four seconds. I know that the splash damage is not really that big, but hey, I mean, who cares about that? As long as he's hitting like four and also as long as you are placing like all of them at one place, I think that it, he is actually acting up kind of like a very big machine gun, something like that. I mean, 80K times eight, that's going to be like 664. So 640K per four seconds, guys, if my math is correct. I'm just going to continue buffing him, guys, and probably till, till we actually die or maybe once the mobs are already past our range. Because, yeah, once the mobs are here, look at that, guys. No one will be hitting them. I'm going to delete our Goku as well, guys, so that we will be able to see what's going to be the max wave that our Genos can actually hold. I'm, of course, guys, I'm not really expecting that it's going to be crazy, crazy OP. But we are now in wave number 42, guys. If we will be able to hit, like, wave number 60, that's going to be impressive. Yo, check this out, guys. Because of our SPA, it feels like there's kind of like an invisible wall here that all of these units cannot actually pass through. Well, yeah, they're now passing through because I just lost my buff, but you guys will see what I mean. 
for SBA is just really a gold. Look at that, guys. Hey, <laughs> yeah. every time that every single one of them are hitting, they're just getting melted. Of course, at some point, guys, they will be so tanky that our Genos can probably would not be able to keep up. But as long as we have here um, Blackbeard 6 start to slow down these ground units, I think that the next uh, problem that we will have here are the air units. I'm just not sure about the air units, though, but I'm pretty sure, guys, the air units would kill us because I believe that there will be like some air units before wave number 60 that might be too tanky for Genos because if the ground units are already here, and the air units will probably just uh, fly over them then our genos would probably hit them only on this area look at that so only this genos would be able to hit them probably in a decent part of his range but most of them cannot so that's gonna be the problem okay guys check this out we were 58 and there are now some air units here and i think that th these air units would actually display the weakness of our genos well that is if these air units would be tanky enough but yeah, I'm just not gonna miss my buff here so that it will be a fair fight. Yep, just like what I mentioned, guys, these air units, well, well they're not untouched. That's a good thing, but wait a second. Let me just uh, do the Merlin buff. Yeah, these ground units are now piling up. So, okay, they're now gonna start attacking these air units just the same way how I imagine it. But oh no, I think it was my fault. Yeah, that was my... Yeah, this this dude could have been killed already. You know what? I'm going to do... <laughs> yeah, it was just my fault that I was just watching it. I'm going to use my Goku God just to clean this mess. But yeah, I mean, they could have actually killed that air unit. Not going to lie. Oh, bro. That was my fault. But still, you know, we managed to hit like wave number 60. And also, this run would be impossible to hit like wave number 70 anyway and these air units would probably most likely kill us you know so there you go guys that's gonna be the power of one of the newest five star unit here genos and as an opop -OP, four star unit here in asdd i must say that at least he got some respect i mean he's not really a meta definitely guys but he's a very useful and probably a very good replacement on some really really op units guys but i think i really think that you guys will be able to use him on story mode but anyway that's gonna be pretty much it for this video guys if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe use the star codes now whenever you're buying robux and again guys i can't really promise that every single video that i will be creating will be at level 120 but i will try my best guys to at least agree them to level 80 but anyway that's gonna be it and stay cold genos is finally back out